the picture shows us the process of photography. It can be seen from the flowchart that the first step is about whether you have a camera or not, if the answer is yes, you then need to make sure it has batteries. After that, you still need to confirm that the batteries are fully charged. And then the next step is to ensure that the camera can work as normal. Finally, you need to figure out how to use the camera and whether it is complicated. If you may answer no to any questions during the process, the only thing you need to do is to find another hobby. In conclusion, the flowchart shows us a clear process of using a camera as a hobby. The following image gives information about bird migration in the continent of America. In this image, Canada is marked as a breeding area in blue, and the north of South America is marked as a wintering area in orange. According to this picture, birds will fly northwards in the spring from the wintering area to the breeding area, as the yellow arrow shows. And birds will come back in the fall to the wintering area, as the green arrow shows. In conclusion, this image is very informative. The following map gives information about Switzerland language. Data of different areas are splayed on the map. The items include German, Italian, French, Romance. According to this picture, the largest areas of language is German, which is in the center of Switzerland. In comparison, the smallest areas of language are Romance, which in the east of Switzerland. In conclusion, using German is much larger than that of using Romance. The following graph gives information about S&P ASX 200, a share market index. 
You can see from this graph that the value of 10 is around 0, the lowest. Moreover, the value of 11 is around 3490, which is higher. You can also see from this graph that the value of 1130 is around 3500, which is the highest. At last, the image is showing that the value of 1215 is around 3492, which is the third peak. In conclusion, this graph is very informative. The image gives information about how to use a plastic bottle as a bird feeder. According to the picture, it is clear that on the first stage, there is a water bottle with two pencils in it, which is brown and blue, respectively, and the bottle is full of food. After that, on the second stage, the two pencils are replaced with two spoons, which are made of wood. In conclusion, the little bird standing on the spoon can get food from the bottle, and we can see the caps of two bottles have different colors namely blue and white. The following graph gives information about the most used technology. The data is calibrated in millions. The items include the number of users, computer, and telephone. According to this graph, on the computer, the number of users is around 4 and that of TV is higher, which is around 6. It is crystal clear from the image that that the highest number of users is in telephone, which is around 8. On the other hand, the lowest value of users is webcam, which is around 1. In conclusion, the telephone has the highest number of users. The following graph gives information about the housing structure. 
When we enter the house from the entrance, on the left-hand side we can see a small kitchen with a stove in it and on the right-hand side there is a small toilet and a place for a shower. Going deeper into the house, we can find the main bedroom which is on the left corner with a double bed and a desk in it, and the living room is on the right corner with spacious room, a long lounge, and some sofas. In conclusion, it is a very comfortable house to live in. The following graph gives information about electricity generation in China by type from 1994 to 2004. The data is calibrated in billion kilowatt hours. For the conventional thermal, it has increased from 600 in 1994 to 1500 in 2004 gradually. When we look at the hydroelectric, it remained relatively stable at around 100 throughout the period. For the total generation, it has increased dramatically from 900 to 2000 from 1994 to 2004. Overall, it is concluded that the image is very informative and knowledgeable for me. The following graph gives information about adult literacy by region from 2000 to 2004. The data is calibrated in numbers. As we can see the largest amount can be found in Latin America and the Caribbean, which is 89% in females and 91% in males. Followed by, Asia has the second largest rate, which is 73% in females and 86% in males. However, we can find the smallest amount in Sub-Saharan Africa, which is 53% in females and 79% in males. Overall, it is concluded that the image is very informative and knowledgeable for me.
The following image gives information about virus replication. It shows how the process is done. The steps include adsorption, entry, replication, assembly, release. According to this image, the first step is adsorption. Followed by, the second step, is the entry. Moreover, the image shows that the third step is replication. The next step is assembly. According to the image, the final step is to release. In conclusion, this graph is very informative and knowledgeable for me.